The All Fresh Breakfast. It's New FM, the beat of the Pacific. You've got Henry and Trina for the All Fresh Breakfast. Another day, another dollar. And joining us in the building right now, she needs no introductions. If you have social media, chances are you've seen her. Joining us from the CWK, it is Nix. Yay! Good morning. Thank you for coming morning, in. Yeah, Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. I tell you what, we were just having a conversation before you walked into the building. Mm. We saw you pottering downstairs. Oh, there she is. Oh, there she is. Smoking. And I tell you what, we've been here for a long time. I myself, out of all the people that we've interviewed, I was the most excited to meet you. Well, why? Because I've been following you since the beginning, since you did that video on the back of the bus. <laughs> And now I've been following you from Gosh, the beginning. That is way in the beginning. Yeah, and I was so excited. I was a little nervous, and I don't get nervous. <laughs> meeting. And we've talked to some uh, major superstars. Yeah. And I think it's just heading a little bit different since I have been following. Yeah. Following the journey. Oh, that's mean. So if anybody out there doesn't know mm. who you are, where did it all begin for Nick's? On that bus. Yeah. <laughs> on that bus, straight out of jail, and and I was on that bus going to my drug and alcohol counselling. Um. Yeah, and that's just where I started. I thought, oh, I'm going to pull my phone out and start just recording my journey back to sobriety, back to New Zealand. And here I am. How many years ago was that? It'll be three years in February. Jeez Louise, wow. that went fast. Yeah, hey? I know. Look how far the three years has taken you. <laughs> yeah, look at you now. Yeah. I know, it's crazy. Is there times where you sit down and think, like, gosh, I wish I hadn't started this nonsense? <laughs> I no, wish I, I hadn't. It. Yeah. It, it doesn't, it's, I love it. The people that I've met, um, and I've met so many, and yeah, they inspire me every day. Um, no, it's awesome. I love the journey that I'm on. Do you get a little bit. Um, because you've been doing it for three years, sharing your daily life. Are there times where you're like, oh, gosh, this is the one I want to keep to myself. This is a little secret or part of my uh, day that I would like to keep to myself. No. No? <laughs> Open no. Box. I share everything, everything. We were just talking this morning because uh, I take my private lives in the shower. Mm. And I'm in the shower and I'm like, oh, man, I'm itchy down there. <laughs> but no, what have I got? And then, you know, we've got pharmacists, we've mm. got doctors. They're like, girl, you got thrush. So hey. straight after this interview, I'm going to get me th some thrush cream. See, I would never have known that if yeah. I wasn't sharing so much. So, And I suppose people appreciate that, really, yeah. right? They can probably relate to you better because yeah. they're like, oh, man, she's just a normal everyday Every woman day. just like the rest of us. Yeah. Are you quite surprised by the people who are following you because yes. it's not just maori it's not just pacific people no, it's everybody there's whanau over in like uk london america love everywhere love it and it, it just really things to me man it doesn't matter what i sound like what i look like what color my skin is what age i am there's there's whanau that are in their 60s 70s it doesn't matter we all go through the same things yeah. you know so Oh, even awesome. I can relate sometimes because you just exploded onto my social media and yeah. I had to get the rundown from Henry, like, take me back right to the beginning, okay, because I need to know the details of how it started. But even some of your videos, I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, my goodness, that is me. That is me and my sisters. That is my cousins on the weekend fighting yeah. with each other. Um, but you're just so relatable. I think people think that, they're oh, he's this funny girl, but then some don't realise there's a mean backstory mm. as well. Mm -mm. Do you ever run out of things to say? Never. Never? Oh, do you run out of breath? <laughs> Every day? <laughs> never. As long as I'm breathing, I've got something to say. He knows. He never runs yeah. out of words <laughs> to say. All but right? do you ever sit there and be like, well, how am I going to tell this story today? Or are you just turning oh, the camera no on way. and just, just whatever comes up, comes up? Coffee. Oh, well, I've stopped drinking coffee, but a cup of tea, mm. smoke, robe. Good morning. Let's go. So. That was my morning ritual because I used to work in the afternoons. And I would really be awake early enough and I would catch just the end of your morning live. I would yeah. sit outside with my coffee and my cigarette <laughs> and just tune in and just find you so entertaining. And I was always so fascinated at the fact that you are a storyteller. Yeah. Before anything else, I think some people can tell a story, but other people can tell a story. Oh, mm. yeah. No, and I've you got can the tell facials, a story. I've yeah. got the everything. I try and do it exactly how it happened. <laughs> Have you always been a talker? Um... Nah, not really, I, but a writer, mm. I'll write everything down. 
Um, it's just pretty much when I started this journey and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get off the drugs and things like that. Mm. I just thought everything that I didn't like about myself up until this point, mm. I'm going to change. And I was really quiet. I was reserved. I was judgmental. I was jealous. And I, you know, pretty much put all those things in a basket and thought, right, from this moment forward on this new journey, I'm going to work on these things. And, um, yeah, and I have been, and it's been, and I've been sharing it, how I've been working on it. You know, sometimes it doesn't happen how I think it's going to happen. Mm. Um, and I have to learn the hard way, especially when I meet people and they don't have the right intentions for our friendship. And that hurts, yeah. you know, but, but I'm better off um, in the end because I do, you know, finally get to that lesson. So, and I share the whole way through, so. What was the impetus? What was the reason for you to give up the drugs? Because you're quite open with the fact that, yeah. Oh, it just got tiring. Yeah. That whole life, it, it's just so tiring. It's draining. And I was just, I wasn't really a good crook when mm. I ended up in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing a good job of it. Um, but I was, um, somebody said every day that you're continuing, um, you know, having drugs and surrounding yourself with these people. Your children are in New Zealand mm. and that's another day without their mother. Mm. And it was just like, God, real, real hit me in the feels, you yeah. know. Um, and, yeah, I just thought, no, nah, I've got a daughter back here and she she needs a mother. Mm. She needs her mum to teach her what's right and wrong, mm. you know. like. And, yeah, so I just set that plan while I was sitting in that jail cell and I've stuck to it and some. Yeah. Is it still a hard journey? Because I, just from ex- addicts in my family oh i've got the same thing it, on lock yeah i just do not surround myself with any anyone that's on that um i don't judge them because mm. i understand you know why people would turn to addiction but that's just not me anymore mm. um and so i don't put myself in those situations and the what i tell myself now is because i do have regular visitation with my children if I even think about going back to that, I can say Gone. goodbye to all of that hard mm. work and, you know, those seeing those smiles on my kids' face when they wake up. Nah, lies. They don't smile when they wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Get up no, face, but, you know, seeing their grumpy faces when they wake up, um, that'll all go down the toilet if I even... So, no, I just put all my uh, energy into constantly bettering myself because they benefit from that. Do they realise now the reach that their mum has? No. They still they don't care no, that. No, they oh. don't care. That's why I love it, you know, because they they bring me back down to earth. I could go out and people are like, oh my gosh, you know, and then I go to them and they don't care about that. What about the rest of your friends and family? Do they get quite like, oh gosh, why is she out here talking about this nonsense? Do you have to uh, explain to them? Question. Well, maybe, but, you know, they probably know that if they bring it up to me, I'll just say, don't watch then. Mm. Mm. It's simple as that. I'm not the only one doing lives. Go and watch someone else then. Because I've spent so many years not being myself, mm. you know, especially being in relationships all the time. And when you're in a relationship, you kind of find yourself being what they want you to be and not who you truly are. And, um, yeah, and I've had enough of that, and I'm going to be me, and if you don't want to see it, well, shut your eyes. <laughs> so this would be the real you? Like, do you think that social media kind of brought the real you out of the, oh, I want to say closet for some reason, yeah. but not in that <laughs> way, but brought you out? Well, I don't know, because, um, you know, I had been bisexual my whole life, mm. yet I was married, yet I was in, I've been in a relationship ever since the age of 14, um, and then when I started that journey, you know, nearly three years ago, I thought, you know what, I'm going to give that a go. So all those things, really, all the way to, bi you know, being bisexual, I um, thought I'm going to give it all a go. I'm going to do it, you know. And, I mean, I've got a partner now, so it didn't work out, obviously. But yeah. still, I gave it a go. <laughs> Are you also finding that three years later you're achieving what you set out to start? Like, well, at least My biggest thing was just to get back here and be present in my children's life. All the rest of this stuff is an absolute bonus. Mm. The nice. friendships that I've made, the um, networks that have formed... 
um, you know, the, the topics that I can now u- utilize my platform for, mm. like the Let Me Speak, like mm. I did a fundraiser for mental health, doing mahi with um, Women's Refuge, things like that. That's all a bonus. Mm. But my main thing was I need to be back here for my kids, and I'm back here, so... Winning. Which leads Winning. us to all the opportunities you've had. I've yeah. seen you feature on uh, Peel Today's yeah. TV show. <laughs> I believe you were one of the only New Zealand content creators to be funded by Facebook. Yeah. Is that correct? They picked wow. you up and now you've got a tour. The Let Me Speak yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah. Why now do you think was the time to have this conversation? Well, it just kind of, um, I mean, I, I do, I did a um, tour around the entire country mm. and allowed for people in nearly every town to share their stories on my platform. And a lot of them were about molestation and uh, sexual abuse. Um, but then it's kind of hit pretty close to home recently um, with someone that I grew up with. Mm. And and now with this tour, I thought, well, fuck, I need to do something. I need to utilize my platform to raise awareness because I thought that I knew the signs to be able to prevent it, you know, and things like that. And um, and I don't. Mm. And so I put together this tour where whānau around the country will be sharing their stories and um, which will bring healing for them. And also because I need to be educated and I'm sure a lot of other parents around our world need to be educated so we can protect our children. Mm. So for them to, um, you know, for those whānau to say, yep, I'll share my story, what they're saying really is I'll educate you so that you can look after your children. So you know the signs and things like that. So I think this is a massive thing because especially in the Māori and Pacific community, we shove this to the back corner. It's Mm -hmm. easy just to hide it. And I think it, it's still, even now, where it's a lot more prevalent, where people are talking about it, I think people are still, in our community, scared to speak about it. Yeah. So I think it's a massive well, thing for you. hopefully when they listen to um, these, ad- I mean, with the ages range from the 20s all the way to the 60s, mm. and they're going to be sharing their stories. And if children, younger ones, see that these adults are coming out, then that might encourage them to speak out as well. Awesome. And then you know, who knows? We might have have a that might have an impact on the suicide rates mm. as well. You know, it's worth a try. I've got yeah. to do something. I've got this platform, and if I can utilize it to pump out a message around the world, why wouldn't I? Mm. Do you think it's more so now that people are believing, or just people are willing to listen? Because on social media, we've seen in the last, let's say, couple of months, a whole bunch of uh, well-known influencers being called out for their predatory behaviour. Do you oh, wow. And a whole bunch of people uh, are concerned now about which way this is going to sway. Do you think it's now that people are believing victims of sexual abuse? Or is it because now people are more willing to listen? Like, what's the, the reason now that know, people are because more... Because I've never um, had that. I've never experienced it myself. And we've never had that in my family mm. growing up and things like that. Um. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Well, but uh, but from stories that I've heard from Fano, they weren't believed. Yeah. Mm, mm. I would say the amount of support that you've had as well, even from, I suppose, the, uh, the influencers here in mm. Aotearoa as well mm. as the Pacific, um, congratulating you and saying, you know, this is awesome that you're using this platform. Um, I think people are ready for it. I think yeah. it's time, especially with the current climate, with people here in the country being called out for their own behaviour. Um, and then just, I suppose, it's so prevalent in the world right now to be talking yeah. about it. So, um, no, I think it is, it is the well, right time. Well, it needs to be done. And, and so what I'm doing is over the course of next year, there will be a lot more Let Me Speak campaigns. Mm. This first one will be Let Me Speak About Sexual Abuse. Mm. The next one may be Let Me Speak About Addiction. The next one may be Let Me Speak About Domestic Violence. Um, so I, I do want this Let Me Speak campaign to cover a lot of mm. topics that affect us. It's just that um, I'm starting with the sexual abuse one because it needs to be talked about. It needs to be yeah. done. You're travelling all over the country. Well, for this one, yeah. it, I start in Whangarei and we finish in Wellington. And does that kick over off seven days? November the 11th, mm-hmm. is it? Yeah. And where are you heading to? Whangarei. Whangarei. And to Wellington. And just everywhere in between? <laughs> Everywhere in between. <laughs> Six towns. <laughs> Eleven stories. Mm. Yeah. Are you worried that people, there's going to be backlash for this? I'm already getting backlash. 
Really? You yeah. only announced it like yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, I'm already getting backlash. Um, but, and, and I understand that a couple of people, you know, here, there won't won't agree with it. Um, they don't want to hear it. Mm. That's fine. Mm. Don't come on my page from yeah. the 11th of November then because it's going to be going ahead. Because you have these couple of people here, you have these thousands of parents mm-hmm. that want to know mm-hmm. how can I better protect my children. And it's by listening to these survivors and what they went through, the games that these adults played with them, mm. you know, so that you can have your eyes open and your ears open, especially coming up Christmas, you're going to have a lot of fun around mm-hmm. and mm. you need to be wary. Absolutely. And it is going to be 100% honest conversations that that's they're having. That's what live streams yeah. are. That's the difference. That's why I love doing live streams. Mm. You get it, how it's cooked in the kitchen. Yeah. And they can all tune in on your Facebook page yeah. for when this is happening. Again, it kicks off November the 11th. Yeah, cooked fun, no caught at all with the mix. And we will share all that information on our page. Is there anything you want to say out there to your supporters? Oh, no, they're right there. <laughs> <laughs> they're right here in front of her. Um, apart from the Let Me Speak tour as well, what else is coming up for Nyx? Well, my, um, I get my daughter full-time next year. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I've just, on the weekend, gone. It was a massive mish, but I'm um, starting to prep her room. And, yeah, so... I I'll was be... watching that the other day. What, did you get rid of the sink or did you keep it? Well, the I, sink in no, her room? I kept it because I thought, you know, that's going to be good for her to have her... Her little makeup routine, because mm. I'm gonna get her into that Amelia skincare, <laughs> <laughs> and have her little, you know, because I really want to teach her about hygiene. At the moment, she lives with her dad and her brother. Uh, I, I won't say anything further than yeah. that. She <laughs> lives with her dad and her yeah. brother. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, with me, I got my skincare routine um, and things like that, and I really want to encourage her to look after mm. herself. We had Stan Walker in here not long ago uh, promoting his yeah, yeah. his life story. Can we expect a autobiography from Nick's in the near future? The oh. story of your life? I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Give it 10 more years, maybe. Yeah. Ten your- I can't be bothered. Oh, go on my page. Nah, mm. there you go. You got a whole video <laughs> video thing. What if Taika White says he comes to you, I want to make a movie about your life? Oh, I'm down. Yeah? I'm, down. Well, I'm just waiting for him. Mm. All right. No, we'll Happening. reach out to him. <laughs> <laughs> Will we continue to see you uh, on Māori television? Yeah, so I think so. I don't, I don't want to think anything, but yeah, I think they're doing a season two, so that's nice. cool. Awesome. And some other shows, I've got some up my sleeve. Oh. But I'm just like, man, I don't know if you fellas are ready for me. Are they going to give you your own talk show? As soon I as I saw know, you pop up be on... beep, 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 <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> hey. like a truck reversing. <laughs> That's real life. That is real life. Um, one thing that I did want to touch on, because, you know, um, I suppose you've been around for a wee while now on the old social media, and quite recently I've seen quite a few other influencers here in Aotearoa um, always supporting you, always commenting mm. on your page and things like that and then you, before you mentioned about people having ulterior motives for starting friendships with you have you found like are those connections real or with have these you had other influences with the other influences yeah, oh yeah. how are you okay because oh, yeah. I'm out. all about it I'm all about you know women especially women but, of but colour the thing with me is I don't get too close to anybody mm. Mm. but their support I've never I don't I don't feel like I've ever had any run-ins with them because it's like there's a connection. So, I mean, a baker wouldn't sit down with a, a bricklayer mm. and, and be able to have a proper combo. A baker's got to sit down with a baker and then they get real down to the nitty gritty. Mm. And when I catch up with other social media influencers, that's what we talk about. How do you get through all the negativity? Because we all get it, mm. you know? So when I have combos with them, that's naturally what our combos are about to encourage us to keep going, keep going because nice. we're doing good things. You I was know? hoping that was different. it. I was hoping that. Yeah, was no, it. I don't have I don't have time for any negativity from no. anyone, social How'd, media influencer or not. How do you get through it? The the hate and the negativity. Well, um, yeah, if it's not happening on my page, I don't really care. Yeah, you just know, your business. I, I, yeah, I just worry about what's going on in my footy. You know, if there's if there's a dog barking out there on the road, shit, I don't care. <laughs> you know, as long as you don't come in and take a shit on my lawn, shit, we all good. <laughs> Have you noticed more people copying your style of lives now? Um, oh, 
God, I know I don't even mm. see this other thing. I don't watch anyone yeah. else. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, and I, I remember talking to Lingy about this. I don't, I don't watch anyone mm. else because you, when you watch someone else and they're doing the same thing as you, if you see that, look at that person, it's really working for them. Naturally, you may change mm. your own style mm. to try to, and then you lose track of your journey. So no, I just stay on mine. I just, I just do what I'm doing. Mm. And uh, I, that doesn't mean that I don't support anyone yeah. else. It just means I'm focused on what I'm up to. Cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Last one for me, but have you had any run-ins? With? Anyone on social media, other influencers, anything like that? You had any run-ins? Nah, nah. I mean, there's, there's always someone that's got something to say yeah. over here, there. Oh, look at her, you know, she's still on drugs. She's got no teeth. Well, i got teeth now. <laughs> so, nah. I, I, and again, whenever I'm real stressed out in that, pick my kids up. Mm. And you're too two busy as well, later, I suppose. Oh, my God, I'm too busy yelling at yeah. them to think about this one over here saying I've got no teeth. So Too busy being successful, mm. I'd say. Yeah. So all the young Māori and Pacific, not just girls, but uh, children out there, what do you want to say to them? Just be yourself. You're perfect exactly how you are. And some people may not like it and some people will love it, mm. you know, but at least you're being yourself through and through. And uh, one more time, all the dates for the Let Me Speak tour? Yeah, le- 11th of November on my page. Yeah. We'll link that all up on our social media. Any words from you, Trina, before we wrap up? No, just a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. I'm used to seeing you on my social media, yeah. cracking me up every day. <laughs> so once again, it was a pleasure and hopefully we get to um, get you in the studio again in the future. Yeah, mm. hard out. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Nick's in the building. It is the All Fresh Breakfast. Good morning.